Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Today we have a very exciting video where I'll be unboxing the iPhone 14 Pro. I normally don't do videos like this. I am not a technology channel if this is your first time watching me, but I thought that this would be kind of fun to open up the new iPhone together. Let's just get on into this video. It is Sunday, September 18th, the day I'm filming this, and the phone came out last week on Friday. I have never gotten a phone so early since its release date, but this was much needed. If you guys don't know, the iPhone I currently have is the iPhone 11 in white. Honestly, it's great. The only thing is, it's really slow now because I don't have any phone storage, and I've cleared up so many photos and apps, and I still don't have enough storage on this thing. I just like to have my phone storage. This has 128 gigabytes on it, so the new iPhone I got, this one has 256 gigabytes so definitely a big upgrade also i feel like these phones look drastically different if you compare this phone to like the iphone 13 it's not that much different let's switch the focus to this phone here's what the box looks like super nice obviously apple has taken out the power block adapter so the boxes are thinner and this is the iphone 14 pro i think i forgot to mention i'm getting the 14 pro model so this has a lot of new updates a really good camera on it compared to the cheaper base models this was just the base iPhone 11 model it's not the pro so this is like my first pro model iPhone I feel like this part is so satisfying it is now time to open up this iPhone oh my gosh it is so pretty as you can see this is a really big camera upgrade the cameras are huge on this thing compared to the 11 that I have and I got it in silver let's just take this right out of the box I'm just gonna put this to the side right now so what comes in the box is obviously the charging cord as you all know Apple changed their charging cords to the USB-C one instead of the USB but it still has the lightning port but this doesn't come with the block as I said earlier so you do need to buy the new block because the old iPhone blocks won't work with this cord sadly and then up here we just have like the instructions and then also one Apple sticker oh and I totally forgot this one doesn't come with a sim card holder tray thing Apple got rid of the sim card tray so without having a sim card tray you have to activate an e-sim card and as you can see on the phone that is not a tray it's just like a flat area also it is so weird having the like mirror look on the sides they do that with the pro models I think it's so pretty Holding this iPhone definitely feels a lot more expensive and luxurious. It's also a lot heavier. I don't know if anyone else has experienced that, but this iPhone is really heavy compared to my iPhone 11. And I think it's because of these cameras. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they bump up like crazy. Anyways, let's just put this all to the side. It is now time to do the most satisfying thing, which is peeling off this sticker on the screen. I don't want to mess this clip up. Holding down the power button and it is now turning on. Oh my gosh. You can see the new dynamic island. I think I can do this quick start thing. As you guys can see, as I was just talking about it, the notification popped up on my old phone right now. This is what the screens are looking like. Okay, we're finally back. It is completely set up. When I turn it off, it looks like this, which is also a new thing on the iPhone 14, which is called Always On. So my iPhone is actually off right now and it constantly will be showing you the time. And once you put in your own personalized widgets, like the weather, it will all stay on your home screen. This is like the same exact layout and app, like widgets from my old phone. They're all just offloaded because every single app on my phone was offloaded on my old one because I didn't have any phone storage. But now we have a huge upgrade on phone storage so I'm gonna start installing like snapchat tiktok speaking of this phone I'm giving it to my younger sister she's gonna take it she has an iPhone 10 so she's gonna be upgrading to the iPhone 11 this is also crazy because this is my first time seeing iOS 16 I didn't upgrade this phone before I got this one because I didn't have enough storage clearly and I did see on tiktok which I'm gonna do right now which I think is so nice is that they added a battery percentage so when you turn that on now you can see your battery percentage okay please ignore the explanation point by my messages it's still a little messed up until i get my sim card stuff figured out but here is the camera as you can see this is my desk setup the zoom is actually crazy it's at 15 it goes up so far and then the wide angle is also really really nice here you guys are look how good this camera is oh my god and here's also the video camera and this is what the camera is looking like with the video and then here is the photo camera that is so nice and then this is also new, the cinematic. I'm just not gonna focus on that too much because the iPhone 13 had that too. I also wanna show you guys the dynamic island. I don't know how it's gonna work with the screen recording, but let's just see. Biggest thing I think is Spotify. So as you guys can see, I'm playing a song, right? And then I'll swipe out 
and they put it up on the top of my iPhone. And then I also saw if you like set a timer, maybe it's because I'm screen recording. But as you guys can see, I don't have any apps open, right? But you can see my timer going on and my music playing. As you guys can see, I'm on Spotify and you can see my timer. This is also really crazy. So when you're playing a song, the actual album cover shows up on your lock screen. And this is how you also customize your lock screen. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing part of the video and I'll get back to you guys once I do the iOS 16 customization. It is two days later. I still don't have a case on my phone, but today I want to do the iOS 16 customization part of this video. The cases are almost here in the mail. And if you're curious on what they're gonna look like, they look like this. I ordered two. I also wanna go for two different lock screen looks. As you guys can see, my phone looks just like how it was on my iPhone 11. It just has a very brown, neutral kind of vibe to it. And while I like that, I also wanna change it up. I basically saved a bunch of wallpapers from Pinterest and we're basically just gonna narrow this all down. I think first we're gonna start off with the blue. So basically I'm on the lock screen right now and I'm gonna hold down and click the plus sign to customize a new wallpaper. I clicked photos and now I'm at my recents. I decided to go for this one right here and then I think I'm gonna click add. And then I'm gonna customize my home screen and I'm gonna pick this one as my home screen color right now. Now I have this as a wallpaper pair and I'm gonna click customize so I can make it a little bit more personal. I'm going to customize the time to a different font. I might do just white so it stands out really nicely. I'm definitely gonna add the weather widget. Okay, that's nice. I just made that monthly widget in Widget Smith and now I'm gonna go into Widget Smith. So I'm gonna do like a cute little symbol, I think. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, you have all your symbols. I guess you can only do one symbol at a time save oh there we go it's saved okay so this is gonna be my first lock screen right here Oh, this is actually so cute. There we go. At the top, I kind of want to do the same exact thing and add a text widget. Honestly, I might do the same heart. And then for the uh, time, I actually might do this font. I want to do this one, but it's very similar to this one. And honestly, I might leave it the color that it's at right now, like this deep pink purple color. And then for the widgets, I still want it to be somewhat the same. So I'm going to put the weather right there. And then I want to do another rectangular widget with the calendar. I just like the way how that looks. Oh my God, I love this so much. And here's the other matching wallpaper for the home screen. And now we have the pink one. And I have to obviously make new widgets because the blue ones aren't matching right now. Much the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the iPhone 14 Pro unboxing and then also me setting up my iOS 16 customization lock screens and home screens. And if this was your first time watching me and want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to. And then also follow me on Instagram. I'm pretty active over there. And then also on my TikTok recently as well. And if you did make it up to the end of this video, comment down below this emoji. It's a fun thing I like to do in my comments to see who's watching up to the end of my videos. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!